air blast circuit breakers were first used commercially sometime around the year 1940s and uh, for over five decades this technology has proved to be quite successful air blast circuit breakers were available up to 800 kV and they totally dominated the higher end of the transmission voltage class in fact at one time they were the only type of circuit breakers that were available for application at voltages higher than 300 kV but now air blast circuit breakers are no more in use no manufacturer in the world produces it what happened why did the complete world stop using the technology which was quite successful for almost five decades to get the answers you need to watch the video hello and welcome to my channel my name is Gaurav J. I post videos related to electrical engineering on this channel with the easiest explanation. So if you subscribe, you are going to learn a lot of things in the easiest way. First, we need to understand the working principle of this type of breaker that will help to understand the reason for not using the air blast circuit breakers more clearly. Air, as we know, can also act as a dielectric till a certain voltage level and an air blast circuit breaker uses air as a dielectric medium. As the name suggests, an air blast circuit breaker uses an air blast while the contacts are separating to quench the arc and interrupt the current. This type of breaker needs an auxiliary compressed air system which supplies air to the air receiver of the breaker. You can see at the bottom there is a tank where air is stored at a very very high pressure. Now the question is why high pressure and why not air at atmospheric pressure? The answer is simple. High pressure air offers higher dielectric strength than that of atmospheric pressure. Same is the case with SF6 gas. As you increase the pressure, the dielectric strength of the SF6 gas also increases. On the top tank, you can see support insulators are mounted. These insulators are hollow. And the image that you can see on your screen is for single phase out of three phases. So when we add another two phases, then the breaker will be complete. But for understanding purpose, we are considering only one phase. Now, on top of each insulator, you can see an arc extinguishing chamber or interrupter. As the voltage level increases, the number of breaks per phase in the air blast breaker also increases. So there can be one, two, four, or even six breaks per pole. And all these breaks are connected in series with each other. By the way, if you find my YouTube videos helpful and easy to understand, then you will love the different courses I have created on my website and Android and iOS apps. You can visit www.theelectricalguide.in for more details. You'll get links for the apps and the website down in the description. Go and check it out. So when the circuit breaker opens, the rod operates which opens the valves at the bottom of the support insulators. As soon as the valves open, high pressure air passes through the hollow insulator and enters the arc extinguishing chamber or interrupter and creates a blast of air on the arc. The air blast takes away the ionized gases along with it, which supports in extinguishing the arc. The flow of air around the contacts is guided by the nozzles. And depending on the direction of airflow in relation with the arc, there can be three basic type of air blast circuit breaker. That is, first one is axial blast. Now, if you see the image, the number one indicates the contacts of the breaker. Number two indicates the nozzles. Number three indicates the arc that is stuck between the contacts. And number four indicates the airflow. So this is this is the image of axial blast. Then we also have a radial blast. And the third one is cross blast. Axial and radial blast type breakers were preferred for high and extra high voltage application and cross blast were used for medium voltage. And that's how 
air blast circuit breaker operates this type of breakers were used in the industry for almost 5 decades almost 50 years so for sure this type of breakers offered some advantages over the available options first of all this type of breaker was cheap compared to the other available types and the interrupting medium was available for free of course air this type of breaker was suitable for high speed operation it used to clear the fault within 2 cycles now in ac one cycle consists of 20 milliseconds so two cycle means 40 milliseconds so in just 40 millisecond air blast breaker used to clear the faults air blast circuit breakers were also better in terms of fire hazard compared to the oil circuit breaker oil generally catches fire easily maintenance also of the air blast circuit breaker was less compared to the other available options and it was also capable of performing frequent operations everything has advantages and disadvantages and air blast circuit breaker are no exception it had some major disadvantages but still it was in use for almost 50 years because there was no better option available air blast circuit breakers needed a main and a standby compressor as a backup system to operate noise coming out of this type of breaker during the current interruption was so high that the noise suppression devices needed to be installed in nearby places especially if the substation is located near the residential area the noise uh, was coming due to the discharge of air to the atmosphere to the open atmosphere now these breakers had issues of current chopping what is current chopping in some cases the current is extinguished before its natural current zero position and such situation is called as current chopping and air blast circuit breakers had issues with such situations and also it had problems of restriking voltage and all these were significant issues but it was still in the use uh, because there was no better option available and then came sf6 gas circuit breaker during the period of 1950 to 1956 the technology was quite new and was in the testing phase and when the performance of pilot project came and research showed that the sf6 gas is far better dielectric than the air and sf6 breaker addressed all the issues that air blast circuit breaker had and as a result so far i mean at least the till the time the date of this video recording high and extra high voltage industry is completely dominated by sf6 circuit breakers there is no compressor required there is no significant noise made by the breaker during the operation current chopping problem was addressed restrike voltage issue was resolved and as a result majority of the utilities shifted to sf6 technology this completely eliminated not only air blast circuit breakers but also oil circuit breakers and today the air blast circuit breakers are no more in use and no manufacturer in the world produces them the world was completely adapted to the sf6 circuit breaker now in the coming future the technology may change again we may see technologies which are environment friendly uh, we may see dielectrics medium which will have no impact on the environment what do you think will the world will change a circuit breaker technology which will be sf6 gas free let me know your thoughts on the same using the comment section below also let me know via comments if you want to know why the world stopped using oil circuit breakers comment video on oil cb if i get enough comments then i'll post a video on oil circuit breaker as well so i hope uh, uh, that answers the question which we discussed during the beginning of uh, the video if the video helped you do like the video and share it with the electrical engineers you know i really appreciate your support on that so that's all for this video guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning